Putting is a big part of golf. You'll end most of your holes with a putt. So what does it take to putt well in everybody's golf? How can I improve? Watch this video and get 10 top tips on how to improve your putting. I'm Simon, I play a smurf by everybody's golf and I put far too many hours into this game. I want to share my top tips on better putting in everybody's golf with you. So let's get right to it with our number 10 tip. Tip number 10. Leave yourself easier putts. Sounds obvious but I'm serious. A 10 foot putt is much easier to sink than a 20 foot putt. So think about your approach to the green and try and get as close as possible to the pin. If you can, use backspin if you're using a longer club to shorten the roll. Or if you need to hold the putt up and you have to land it close because the pin's cut close to the front edge, use super backspin. But however you do it, try and get as close as you can. It's easier to sink those shorter putts than it is the longer ones. Tip 9. Leave yourself flatter putts. A flat putt is simpler to make than an uphill or a downhill putt. Concentrate on your approach. Study the green. Where do I want to end up? Ideally, you want to be on the same level as the hole if you can. But in any case, study that green, think about the shot into the green, and try and leave yourself the flattest putt you can. Tip number eight. Leave yourself uphill putts. All things being equal, putting uphill is simpler than putting downhill. Uphill putts tend to hold their line better than a downhill putt, and it's easier to leave the putt closer to the hole than it is with a downhill putt. So again, study the green, look at the contours, try and leave yourself the uphill putt as opposed to the downhill putt. Looks like it slopes up. Tip number seven. Pick a power level and stick to it. That sounds easy, but get into the habit of identifying the power you want, visualise it on the power meter, then concentrate on hitting your mark. Remember, you have the chance using triangle and circle to tweak the power, so do that if you think you're one or two pixels out. Tip number six. Pick a line and stick to it. Learning to read the greens and the slopes is a vital skill. One way to improve this is to pick a line and a power, take the putt and examine the result. Are you consistently over or under borrowing? If you always leave the putts on the high side, then remember to adjust your line next time. Tip number five. Firmer putts hold their line better. Line and power interact on a sloping green. For a given line, a firmer putt will end up higher than a softer putt. If you are putting across a slope, you can use this to your advantage. But be careful you don't overhit the putt trying to hold the line. Tip number four. Not up is never in. My grandfather taught me to play actual golf and his old adage was, not up is never in. By which he means that you need to putt past the hole. Short putts can never drop in the hole. It's much better to end up three foot past than just one foot short. Tip number three, practice using teeny cups to really hone your skills. Most of us probably avoid teeny cups when given a choice, but not me. I love the challenge, and you should too. It's a great way to really get better at putting. It makes you concentrate on your line because there's no margin for error. Give it a try and watch your scores improve. Tip number two. Practice leaving yourself 15 foot putts. Most of the putts you will take will be inside 15 foot. So if you're practicing and you have enough skill, see if you can leave yourself about 15 foot so you can prove in that vital putting range. Upping your percentage of 15 foot putts will really improve your scores. And finally, tip number one, one putt at a time. My number one most vital tip is to take each putt on its merit. 
Ignore your last putt, good or bad. Go through the routine, read the green, pick the line, pick the power and execute the putt. Don't let the last putt define this one. Putt each one on its merits. If you sunk a 25 footer, put it out of your mind. It has no impact on this putt. If you just missed a three footer, forget it. It doesn't matter. It can't possibly affect this putt. Read the green, execute the putt. I hope you enjoyed the top 10 tips for better putting in everybody's golf. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.